Dear fellow coders, this is your one little coder. Welcome to my channel. Do you know that you do not actually need deep learning to generate meaningful text? So natural language generation has been at its peak with a lot of BERT based models and then recent innovations from Hugging Face that brings you the state of the art model. But you actually do not need any deep learning or even machine learning for that matter to generate meaningful natural language text. And this has been a technique that has been used for quite some time successfully by a lot of people to create a Reddit bot, Twitter bot and a lot of other use cases like this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create meaningful headlines using Markov chain. Again, you do not need to know anything related to Markov chain, but if you know, that's a good thing. So the Python library that we are going to use for this particular project is called Markov v5. So Markov v5 is the Python library that we are going to use to create meaningful text from a large corpus of text that we learned it from. And for this, we are going to use a Kaggle data set. So the Kaggle data set that we are using is called a million news headlines. And this has been published by Rohit Kulkarni. So thanks to Rohit, make sure that you upvote it. And this is, this is uh, the headlines from ABC Australian Broadcasting Corporation. So you can see from the text that it has a lot of headline text. Like you can see there is a lot of headline text for a given particular publishing date. So what we are going to do in this video is we are going to train a model using Markov chain, which will learn from this text headline text. And then it will try to create a similar text that is not present as part of the source text. And this is very similar to a lot of other natural language or text generation project that we have seen recently. Uh, the very recent one, we tried to use GPT Neo and then try, try to create meaningful text for blog content. But without any deep learning, without high computation min, uh, machine, you can still do that. And that is my objective in showing you how to do that. So if you are not familiar with Kaggle, uh, there are two ways you can use this code. One, I will share the link of this code. So you would see a button called copy and edit. You can click that and then get started immediately. That's the first way. Or if you want to start from complete scratch, you can go to the data set uh, URL, which also I will link in the YouTube description. You can click new notebook here, which will take you to a new Python notebook. So you can, you can, you know, start using it. So what are we going to do? First step is we have to install Markovify. So the way you install Markovify is quite simple. So all you have to do is you have to say pip install Markovify. If you are using the notebook that I'm going to share, uh, if you're going to do copy and edit, you do not have to do that because this notebook has already got Markovify installed. So if you like Markovify, please make sure that you star the GitHub repository, which also something that I would link in the YouTube description. So once you install Markovify, then your base setup, whatever you wanted to do is done. So before we even do that thing, let's quickly show, uh, see a little bit about Markov chain. So what is Markov chain? The way Markov chain works is Markov chain's future state is predicted or modeled, um, whose behavior is modeled based on only the current state, not any other previous state. And this is a very good illustration of, um, you know, what happens after and uh, uh, how uh, the new state is being calculated or modeled. And this is all called state. And you can see the transitioning from each state to another state. And there is a very nice interactive article that explains about Markov chain. So you can uh, read about it. So I would also link this in the YouTube description, which you can refer to see how Markov chain works. This is a very nice animation. So all you have to keep in mind is Markov chain is trying to what you're trying to do is you're trying to predict a sequence just based on the previous sequence. And that is what we are calling as states. And then we are trying to find out the transition. Okay. Once we have Markov chain installed, what are we going to do? We want pandas to read the CSV and we want Markovify to text ge generate text. After that is done, you have to read the CSV. It's quite simple to get the path of the file. So you can go here and then click uh, the copy the path and then paste it here and then you can run it. So if I decide to run it, okay, I don't have PD defined uh, PD and run it. 
you can see that uh, the text is there so if you want to randomly see some uh, headlines you can see the headlines four in jordan uh, head on highway crash more than 40 uh, percent of young men drink alcohol funds allocated for domestic violence victims so you see some random you know headlines so this is typically your news um, headlines our next step is um, so what we did install the package loaded the package read the input training text and our next uh, step is to train or build the model so we have taken the input text and then we are saying that we want a new line text we are trying to use the function from our code file and then that model gets saved in this thing what is a state size as you can see here multiple states are there one state second state third state so we are trying to tell when we build model how many number of states you want to consider like here we are saying we want the state size to be two um, when it, we are going to actually you know generate a model so once we run this um, it would take some time uh, but again it wouldn't take a lot of time like how your typical deep learning models would take so very less amount of time now uh, marco if i is trying to learn from uh, the text that we have got i'm not exactly sure how many lines of rows we have got um, yeah it has got uh, 1.2 million approximately 1.19 million uh, rows so it's trying to take 1.19 million rows and then it's trying to learn word by word the sequence uh, how you know typically it is written so markov chain is uh, is a very interesting concept a lot of times it is being used to predict what uh, how users would behavior on a website so if you consider you know webs people uh, moving from one page to the other page on a website and you want to you want to let's say create a lead score model or something like that so markov chain is again a very good option and a lot of uh, historical artifacts when somebody tries to identify whether this has been written by let's say william shakespeare markov chain has been used there as well with the existing text to predict uh, how their usual writing behavior is so now that the model is ready uh, what we can do is we can ask the model to make sentence so make sentence will help us uh, create new sentences so we can just say give me 10 sentences so not everything would be uh, perfect i would say so high uranium detected in pacific um, maybe not a very meaningful uh, us led trade deal winners and losers after floods should australia's government react to who report uh, sharks uh, extinguished dragon tigers and hawks snare uh, strong winds so there are some um, some meaningful uh, you know um, sentences and uh, i'm not doing any kind of processing you would have seen like we could do a lot of things like we can ch make sure the grammar is right we can make sure you know there is no punctuation mark or at least the sentence ends when there's a punctuation mark so as simple as it looks we just took data train the model and then make sentence with the make sentence function and uh, what you can do is to improve the efficiency of the model uh, you or uh, the tech output text that you are getting you can actually change the state size uh, to different state size so we started with two you can build uh, different models of uh, different state sizes uh, state size three and state size four and then you can you know try to print the text and that text would um, it would probably give you different um, different measure and uh, yeah that gives you a simple markov chain based natural language text generation without any fancy deep learning and the other thing that you should probably keep in mind is that when you have different markov chain models with different um, uh, text so now you could use uh, you know different um, text uh, what what you can actually do is uh, you can combine those two markov chain model and then create a combination or combo model so that's what i have uh, demonstrated here where you have a first model and then you have a second model and then you combine these two models and then you create a third model with a weighted average uh, weighted score so what is the weightage that you want to give for the first model and what is the weightage that you want to give for the second model and once you do that thing this is highly likely to make a better model than uh, having an entire corpus of text uh, which um, which the markov chain learns from so this might offer you this method might offer you slightly more uh, it, it is more slightly computationally more expensive as you can see like you are building two models instead of one model and then you have a third step of combining the model but um, it is more likely or high likely 
to give you a better text that is more meaningful than the former model that uh, we just built so once that is done you can uh, you can of course print it out and then you can see and you have got a lot of applications uh, of course this is a fun project but uh, you can create a twitter bot you can create a slack bot you can create blog content uh, all of this without um, without you know having to train a huge corpus of deep learning model you don't have to touch any neural network architecture it's just a simple python library that gives you simple output and then uh, within a couple of lines of the code you have a, a decent text generation in place so you can see um, the model is run i'm not going to combine the model uh, so i'm not going to do that so you can see uh, regional victorians wake up to heavy rain um, uh, a strong dollar text toll on blue hum gum harvest could happen without wood chip so all these things uh, you can see that it has a uh, it has slightly decent meaningful headline and uh, that takes us to the end of this video so i would link this notebook the data set the markov chain visual explanation and also the github repository of markovify please uh, share uh, your thoughts about it if you like any of these things please give a shout out on twitter or linkedin wherever you are and if you like my channel please give a thumbs up and subscribe to it it would mean a lot to me and i hope you would stay safe until next video and if you have any comments let me know in the comment section see you next time stay safe